Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. The problem reads, uh, the uniform 20 pounds uh, ladder rests on the rough floor for which the coefficient of static friction is mu s equal to 0.4 and against the smooth wall at B. Determine the horizontal force P, uh, the man must exert on the ladder in order to cause it to move. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. Right, so we have a ladder that weighs 20 pounds and it is resting on the rough floor. And by rough, uh, here the problem is implying that there is friction between the, la the ladder and uh, the floor, the rough floor at A. Okay, so we expect some friction force at A. And uh, we have also been told that uh, the, lad the ladder is resting on the smooth wall at B. So it means at B there is no friction. At B, wall B, at the point where the ladder is resting on the wall B, there is no friction. But uh, where the lad ladder is resting on the floor at A, there is friction. So let's draw the free body diagram and then work out the problem. And we have been asked to determine the force, P, that the man must exert on the ladder in order to cause it to move. So this particular ladder is experiencing what I'm calling impending motion. Impending motion. And for impending motion to take place, we are going to invoke so let, first let me write the imagine the wall and the floor are removed at a i expect because the ladder will tend to move in this direction okay therefore i expect friction i expect friction at a to be in the opposite direction of motion right so we are calling this as a friction force fa and then at a there again we are expecting a normal force na and because we want to determine a force <coughs> that the man must exert so that the ladder moves, we are saying the ladder is experiencing impending motion. Therefore, Fa is going to be equal to mu S times Na. Okay, so this is equal to mu S. What is mu S? Is 0.4. 0.4. And A. Okay. Right. So there we go. Let's finish off. So we are going to have the weight acting at the center of gravity. This point here, this one is 20 pounds. This force is acting at the same point where the weight is acting. Okay. The equivalent here, or the weight of the ladder is acting. So the force P is in the horizontal direction while the weight is in the vertical direction right uh, let me also just indicate my slope that i'm going to use as i apply the equations of equilibrium i have the horizontal component six then eight vertical then this one eight squared is 64 plus uh, six squared 36 six plus 64 is 100 square root of 100 is 10 so this one is 10 all right, I just need that one for my, uh, as a, for calculating the slope. At B, we are not going to have any friction, but we'll have a normal force acting on the ladder. And let's call this one as uh, NB, like so. Okay. So there we go. I think we are done with everything. So what we are going to do now is to apply the equations of equilibrium. Uh, we apply the equations of equilibrium. So we have summation of forces uh, <coughs> in the y direction. Summation of forces in the y direction. What do we have? We have minus 20 uh, plus Na equal to 0. And therefore, our uh, Na is equal to 20 pounds. Right. 
So we found what uh, our NA is. And therefore, if you wanted to find FA, FA is equal to 0.4 times NA. We already know what NA is, right? We just replace it there. And once we do so, then we have uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 by 20, that's, uh, that's an 8, right? Yeah, that's an 8. So this is going to be equal to 8 pounds. Right. Um, let's move on. Let's take moments. So let me call this point here where the force has been applied at the very point, the G point. Let me call this point G, center of gravity, G. Okay, I call this point G. Okay, so let me take moments. I'll take moments about the same point. So I'll say summation of moments about the point G and clockwise being my reference. Right, so what do, we have, what do I have? I have a minus Na times 5 mm -hmm, times 5 <coughs> 5 those I want to get a component this component see this component here this component here let me indicate it we have this component here this component here it is 5 times um, 5 times 6 divided by 10 right uh, this component yes this component is 5 times uh, 6 and then uh, this component here um, this component Well, I draw it. Let me draw it inside here. This one, it is five times. Uh, this is five times eight over ten, like so. Okay. So there we go. Uh, taking moments about uh, point O. Taking moments about point O, so this is Na minus Na. This is a this one is this is anti-clockwise positive, right? Mm -hmm. Na by five times uh, six divided by ten. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, okay, anti-clockwise, and then this other one here, Fa, which is point four times Na, this one is going to be equal to uh, 5 by um, 8 divided by 10 mm -hmm. and then minus again Nb Nb by uh, Nb also this length is the same this one here it has the same length about this about that point this one is also 5 8 divided by 10 okay so this is by 5 8 divided by 10 right mm -hmm. equal to 0 right so we already know what uh, NA is we already know what Na is, so we just replace Na. We replace Na there. We replace it there. We also replace it there. Okay. And once we do so, we can calculate Nb. Nb, therefore, is going to be equal to 7 pounds. Okay. So we are done with this part. Let's apply another equation of equilibrium, summation of forces in the x direction. All right, and we have 
we have nb plus p then minus fa okay minus fa okay minus fa equal to zero we already know what fa is right fa we say it is eight pounds and nb is uh seven pounds so plugging those ones in our equation we'll find that so we have uh eight minus eight uh nb so it is seven minus eight which is a minus because the other side becomes a plus therefore p in this case is going to be equal to one pound so this is the force that is required so i guess we are done and i hope uh, the video is helpful uh, continue subscribing give me a thumbs up share my channel bye bye and uh, see you in my next uh, screencast.